Hello friends, welcome to Behind the Designs, where I create a beautiful life through creative planning. I'm Stephanie and today I'm going to be setting up my mini disc bound planner using some of the gorgeous supplies I picked up from Jane's Agenda. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of tuck all of this aside. I'll be picking this up shortly. But first, I just want to show you my planner <laughs> set lineup, I should say, that was for October. All right. So you can sense a theme here. <laughs> it was sort of unintentional, and it's just the way it came out, but I love how it worked out. I do have a classic happy planner. I had my mini disc bound planner and then also a traveler's notebook for mainly memory keeping and journaling. So um, all I'm going to be doing today is the mini. So what I'm going to do is kind of set these off aside because I have a lot of pieces that are going to go into the mini that um, I need space for. So let me just kind of tuck this off to the side. Um, I do think I'm going to update, you know, the cover of my classic, but that's for another day. Today is all about my mini disc bound, and it's going to be set up in the warm tones of fall and November. So I'm going to jump right in because I have a lot I need to pull out of here to put in my new setup. Let's get started. So what I'm going to do is, um, as you know, this was the setup for October. This gorgeous black kitty on here. I loved this setup. But uh, with November, I'm going to kind of change everything up and I'm going to make it a, even more warmer in tone. So probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it started and then I'm going to pull things out of this to put in there. So I'm going to take this as well, set it off to the side carefully. <laughs> okay, you already know from my setup or my um, unboxing that I have um, some, I have the November sub box from Jane's Agenda, but I also decided to pick up a we got it on as a subscriber we got it on a pre-sale but um i believe it's still available and i'm telling you, you i did not show this to you yet so this is the first time i'm showing you but this is the cover i'm going to be using for november and just look at this thing in the oops i'm losing all my cards in the screen that you're looking at, it may look um, like it's a black color, but it's actually this. It's a chocolate color. So this is their mini two inch chocolate cover or chocolate wrap cover. And then I grabbed the two inch disc to go with it. So this is going to be my setup for November. And it, you know, you can, again, you can't see it now, but in person, it is gorgeous. So I'm going to just tuck all that aside. Again, you get the two pen holders, you get your pockets. Um, this is the side where your mini will slip into. And then I've got the discs, which are gorgeous. Let's get this open. Ooh. Let me use my... Sometimes I use these because um, the tabs get locked behind, the lid gets locked behind those two little tabs on the side. Um, so I'll just kind of set that off aside in case I need it again. All right. So here are the chocolate discs. Aren't these gorgeous? Oh my gosh. The nice thing is you could really use this cover with any of the discs. You can use it with the, and I 
was tempted. Um, there is a vintage or a copper blush color. You can use it with the gold. Um, there are, let's see, there's two left in there. Okay, I'm going to tuck this off aside because the, the remaining two have to go into my little uh, disc jar holder, which if you followed me, you've seen that before. Let's see. So much goodness. Um, I need a place to put this. Let's try setting this here for a brief moment. <laughs> Hopefully that stays there. Okay. And the reason is because I need to bring, bring over my cover because that's what I'm putting in or putting on the discs with. So let's pull this out. Okay. Plus, there are a lot of dashboards and inserts, so I am going to try and do this um, as quickly as I can. So I think these are the same way, right? Yes, okay. Now, with this, you could do the pattern like this where it has the larger cluster at the bottom, or you can flip it where it has it mostly at the top. Now, this is going to, how I put it's going to relate to, um, I put it out there, I'm looking for my tweezers, I put it out there to have you choose which dashboard was going to go behind my cover. Um, so that may tell me which direction I prefer to have the leaves falling. I'm just trying to get this started. Whoops, there it was, and I lost it. I'm trying to do it without scratching my cover. Again, pull towards the disc edge. You should be fine. There's one. And let's get this one. Okay. Perfect. And the, as you can see, crystal clear. Okay. So we have this, and then I'm going to get my dashboard out. Let me get this cover on the discs, because that's really what's going to start the whole thing. All right. So here we go. As you know, I'm always nervous about getting these on. I always want to make sure I don't break it. Um, by the way, if you are not subscribed to Jane's Agenda, you definitely want to get subscribed. The December kit is gorgeous. You don't want to miss out on that. Let's see, I'm doing it this way. It's so fresh it's collecting all the dust up <laughs> all right let's get this one on let's do this carefully now this particular cover is quite vibrant so um i do feel like the chocolate kind of tones it down a bit and warms it up let's not break it the middle one always gets me. I don't know why. <laughs> Probably because that's how you have to hold it. All right. Hopefully that went well. They're really not that hard to get on. <laughs> For whatever reason, I struggle. Okay. We are on a roll. So as you can tell, it kind of just warms it up a bit. And it, you know, for me, it almost looks like the tree where the leaves are falling from. So I don't know. I kind of love it that way. Okay. So the dashboard that was most popular, thank you to all who voted, but the one that was most popular was this one here, if I remember correctly. Let's see. One, two, three. This was A, B, C. C was most popular. Um, so that is what's going to go as my dashboard. I don't know if I want to leave this here, so let's get this on. And 
Let's see what it looks like. It looks really pretty. I may leave it like that for a moment. I may have to take it off depending on where I put everything. I'm also, for the month of November, planning to start in with some new um, weekly layouts, which I have over here in this pile as well. All right, so let's see. I am going to start pulling from the side over here. So directly behind this is my calendar, my year at a glance. Yes, this is my forward planning in year at a glance. Okay. And let's see, I've got, I do have a, so we have dashboards. I'm going to set these around here so that I can better locate all of my goodies. Okay, these are the holiday dashboards. And here's my tab. Okay, for now that's all I kind of need out. Oops, I pulled a sticker sheet. All right, so let's get this off. I don't, I always try and grab it without the tweezers, but it's not that easy. It is a super fine um, plastic, but it really protects that tab. Look how gorgeous that is. All right, so I have multiple tabs at the top for mine, so, um, I may have to pull over the tabs as they are and then figure it out as I go. I haven't quite decided yet. <laughs> so let's just start. All right, so we have this. And I'm going to leave these notes on there because um, they do come in handy. They're the page flags that came in the October kit. And then I'm going to pull over. These are my inbox sheets, um, which is behind this tab. Okay. Uh, let's see. Then we have goals. Now comes all my side tabs. You know, I have a combination of both. Have you seen my setup? I use both top and side tabs. And I even have three on the bottom as well. So I really maximize my mini. Um, I am going to... So let's see. This one had a tab on it. Or a journal card. We have November and thankful. Let's see. This is the paper clip. I am mostly going to keep the pages as they were set up because they did really work quite well. What I do need here now is, let's see, one, two, three, four, need like five of the tabs. Okay, so one, two, three, four. All right, so I want to save this for my calendar. And let's make this one this dashboard. Yes. Goals? Yes. All right. Okay, so here's goals. And then I have my fun fall themed dashboard using the Happy Planner page protectors. We have my agenda. So this is where I'm gonna be incorporating that new tab. Okay, 
Now, I thought I ordered monthlies as well as weeklies, but I think I only have weeklies. So I may have to um, kind of make it work. So here's another paper clip I can use. This stays here. Okay, so I've got, I need a dashboard. So this is my agenda. I want to use this on my agenda. So let's get this one in. And then let's do my quarterly planning. And then I have this tab in here. Again, I'm going to keep the other tabs that I had just because they were separating certain areas. Okay, then I did... Oops. Then I did... I think I had more dashboards in October. So I think I may have to just do this. I may change that once I get over here. So I'm going to pull over November. Now if you remember, because again, I have to use the tab because I, I thought I ordered monthlies, but I was not able to find them. But I do need a dashboard. Did I put it in the wrong spot? No, I didn't, right? Now I'm all messed up. Where is... Oh, this was the one I wanted to put as my dashboard. Whoops. Stuck together a bit. Okay. So, as I was saying, I do have the Happy Planner Mini dashboard. I don't know. The dashboard wasn't really working for me. So, what I'm going to be pulling over is these are the weekly number five Jane's Agenda calendars. They're for the weeks. Um, and I need, let's see if I can, so this was July. I need November. So there is a number of months that I won't need. Okay. Oops. There's a November. Hold on. October. And this one is October. Okay. Here we go. November. Okay, so we have November. Now, the nice thing about, I could even do this, which I think I'm going to do, because I did not use these, although I got these about mid-month, I didn't use them. But here's what's nice about them. Every week ends with, a blank piece of paper on the left hand side so I can use this for whatever I want over here is my week um, I've got a spot for habit tracking I have a month at a glance this is going to be my task list and this is going to be scheduled events um, I think this is gonna work for me I am hoping but I kinda I pondered my weeks for a really really long time and I do think this is gonna work so I've got December. Now I also had, it may already be here. Um, oh, I do have my habit tracker. I, I didn't put anything in here yet, so let me just flip this back. Uh, I did get these half sheet um, habit trackers. I may or may not use them. I don't know just yet. Then I have December. And then that's all for that. I'm not going to put January in here just yet. Um, we have December. I'm going to put the remainder of these in there. Because um, I do have a number of different things I'm testing and using and seeing how they work. I have the flex notes. Um, so I got it all. And let's see, next is the shop. 
Now the nice thing with going from October to November, I could still use the October page finder because it had leaves on it. This actually was supposed to go, let's put this, um, let's put this here. Maybe I'll start using this week, I don't know. But for now, let's just put it here, if I can get it <laughs> off my desk. Okay, so this is the week. Okay, see how pretty that is against the paper? So pretty. Okay, so then we're going to move into, try and speed this up a bit. Okay, the shop. Oh, I put the shop at the wrong part. Or did I even, oh gosh, I don't even know now. Let's see, November. Here, let's just move the month. That's probably easier. This was December. And this had to go November, November, November. Oh, there's December, December, November. Had to go here. Again, I'm just going to keep the months for now. Um, apparently, I need to order some months. <laughs> so, December, extras, then we have the shop. Okay. And let's see here. This has a bunch of information in it. So I think what I'm going to do is for now I'm going to put this here because it needs a tab. I'll have to go back through and make sure all my tabs have a tab, if that makes any sense. Uh, let's see, I need this one. Yeah, I had a lot more... Um, extra tabs and dividers from October because I had, you know, picked up the Halloween vault papers. Okay, next is my content. Okay. And I would need a dashboard, but I don't have any more of those dashboards. Let me just get this week number five out of the way. I've also been knee deep in memory keeping, catching things up, because again, that's still my goal. So um, it's, it's a work in progress, <laughs> let's just say. Let me look quickly, because I feel like I'm missing something other than more dashboards. Let's see. We have the cover, dashboard for goals, agenda has a dashboard, dashboard, and then I don't. So here's what I'm going to have to do, is I am going to start using some of these, which were holiday. So let's see. Let's do, what is the section? Content. Let's do these little guys, the cute little gnomes. Now, I have yet to color these in, so I have to still do those, but I kind of wanted to wait because um, I didn't want, you know, I kind of wanted to wait until at least November 1st, give myself something to look forward to. All right, so this is content, so I've kind of got it all paper clipped so that I can just hopefully push it in there. All right, then we have home. So I'll have half holiday and half November. That works. So home is going to be, um, let's see. Let's make home. What else do I have left? Memories. Let's make this home. Now, what's always super exciting for me come December is um, 
the you know holiday I, I don't want to say gift giving it's more like gift receiving I like to have I like to see other people enjoy the things that they receive but um, the other celebration that takes place in December is our wedding anniversary. We were married three days before Christmas. So everything about December from November going forward just kind of really resonates for me. Okay, so I'm kind of grabbing these in a bunch. And so let me tell you why I put for home the gifts. I used the gift dashboard because our theme at our wedding was our love is a gift. So I kind of, you know, with it being the home section, I kind of thought that was a cute idea. So I'm going to keep going. Now, let's see. I'm just going to share this dashboard. So this section is a small section and I may be moving some things about it. Um, but it is my self-care section in this cute little I use I'm using it as a dashboard came from my second oldest niece she this was the front of my birthday card that she gave me and this is her cat Lily and it was just too cute not to use so I thought it was really fun to put it in that section okay next is memories and what are memories if not made around the tree? So that is going to be the dashboard for this. Oops, stressed that a little bit much. Hopefully that doesn't break on me. Okay, so this one's going to go here. And let's see. And I made a number of these sheets in advance. I took out the ones I wrote on. Um, so that is for my memory a day. So that's going to also be transitioning. So many changes are coming in 2025 with regard to the planners I'm using, how I'm using them, and all the things I'll be doing. So be sure to turn on that notification alert. Um, like the video, subscribe, turn on that notification. You'll know when I post about that. Okay, so now we're getting into the holiday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save, I think, this for that. Let's try this. Memories. Um, I may have to switch that around because I need a top tab to tell me where I'm going. Okay. So I've designated this section as my, um, did I ever take the, I don't even think I ever took the plastic off. Oh my gosh. Um, I've designated this section as my holiday section. So all of the holiday inserts that we've been getting um, are going in this area. Let's get this off hopefully cleanly since I already popped it in. I think some of them might stick behind the discs, but I can get those later. All right, moving forward. So this is going to be holiday. Here is, this is from the um, October pack. This is the um, holiday starter, not starter, but it was like a bundle that came with it. It was part of the deluxe planner subscription box. And it's really going to be helpful for going into next month, November. Uh, let's see, these I'm not going to carry over. These I'm carrying over. I have already started making notes. Oh, but wait, I need to get this one in. Okay, hold on. This one is the holiday planner for really the Christmas time. It has the countdown. This I kind of showed this in the last video where I did the, not the last, last video, but the video where I did the unboxing. Um, so I'm going to put this in there, and then I'm going to put this here. I mean, I kind of like the idea of the tree. I may flip, flip around things, but for now, this is the way it's going to go. Um, sometimes once I start working in it, you know, my brain starts organizing it, you know, I might find some things are 
working, some things are not. Um, I do still have a lot of Happy Planner mini paper, mini, you know, note paper. So I'm trying to use that. And I did put a lot of it in here. So I'm going to just transfer that over. Because this is my notes section. And these are where the bottom tabs came into play, down here. And then I have projects. And I suppose since I'm pulling these out, I should probably should have put it on my right side. <laughs> I'm realizing that now that I'm working on it. Okay, so these are just some empty project pages from Happy Planner. I like to keep in there um, to start working out ideas. And and then I have already some notes on Happy Planner paper, and then I have the Jane's Agenda dot grid paper. And then just some extra, extra paper. All right. We are at the end. Okay, so here we go. I have all of this stuff stuffed in there, so to speak. Let's clear the board off. Look at that. How cute is that? The only thing I'm not a huge fan about is this one sticking out so far. So I may move some things around with regard to that. Um, okay, so let's get this into the cover. Since um, I still have some more decor to get in here. All right, so we're going to get the back cover in. Very dusty from all the paper dust. Okay, let me move this up. All right. So all you got to do is just get it in. For me, I kind of turn it towards me. And I just push against me. To get it all the way in there. Hopefully the way it should be. All right. So let's go ahead and... Now that these papers have really spent some time in my Jane's agenda and have been flipped around quite a bit, they're starting to loosen up, um, which was necessary because it was uh, really working tough to get those pages turned. So for my decor, um, I am going to kind of keep it similar to my... Uh, October I need to get all of these stickers because okay so I have my no papers I have these cards I'm gonna attach them here's the stickers everything is so dusty I see the dust and it it bugs me I'm gonna take these stickers and I'm going to tuck them in to the back here maybe I may pull them back out I don't know I'm just gonna kind of tuck them in so they peek out with all their shimmeriness and let's see I am gonna be playing around now normally I had the um, Jane's agenda date cards or month at a glance cards, but I think because I had these from a different company that I think I want to use these because they have kind of that same look. Um, so let's see. I may use this on a dashboard. So if we do November, um, I know I was testing to see if I liked this. 
just as a quick glance behind here. I like it, but I think I like that better. Okay, so I'm going to tuck this in the back here. And you've probably already seen I had my pens that I brought in. I am going to bring over this leaf pen and I'm going to bring over the Jane's Agenda fountain pen that the deluxe subscribers received and I believe it was October. Uh, let's see, so I have these two and I had this in my, it goes with this as well. I think I want to leave that there. Okay, so I've got my pens. I need to get these onto some dashboards. Let's see. Not on this one, only because it already has some. You know what? I'm going to tuck this under. It needs to be broken in a bit. It keeps flopping over. Let's see. I've got four. Let's see. We have the agenda. I do like this one here. I think this looks really cute. So let's take this one and clip it on. I mean, the script writing is just so fancy. How cute is that? And then I've got this one. I think after this it went into the Christmas. Yes, yeah, so I may have one for each. For each. Um, dashboard. So let's see. I don't want to cover those trees up. Let's put this one down here. I love the color of this card. Okay, and then I've got these two left. Let's go back up front because everything after this is the Christmas dashboard and I think it would kind of look funny. Um, let's go back here. Let's see. Oh, I forgot this one. Since, same on that side, let's see. I'm not a huge fan of all the blue, so I'm going to kind of cover that up. I say this, and here my shirt and my nails are blue. I don't know why I was thinking of the chocolate and something about the blue popped out, so that, that is what it is. <laughs> so I have this one left, and where is my... There's self-care. I'm not sure where I want to put this one. Okay. Let me do a little... Or maybe what I can do is put this, since this is the year to glance for 2025, let's put this here for November. Okay. And then... Um, let's see. I still have these. Too big. Um, thank you for, I'm grateful for. So let's put those on one of the shop content home. Let's go to the home. 
I don't think normally if you're using a classic size these fit on there real easily um, but not so much I am going to put a few on the back of this page because And that's home right. Okay. Um, I wanted to try and remember to um, write my loving husband a little note thanking him for the things that he does. So if it's there, I will have it right in my view and we'll think of it more often. Okay, so what have we got left? I do want to put on, let's see. Oh, see, I have two of them pretty close, so I'll probably have to change that. But let's see, this is, there's that, which you know about the goals, which now those are past. I got to come up with my new goals. Let's see. I think I want to put a few of these cute little leaves on here. I'm just going to do two because I don't want it to be overly crowded. Two there. And let's grab two of these. I adore those little notepads. Oops, that might be too big. Okay, I think I can make that work. All right, I have everything. Everything is in here. My setup is kind of the same. Um, I am still in the process of working out, you know, how I want my mini to be set up. And, um, you know, I'm in it every day. So I'm kind of moving some things here and there. But for the most part, the setup is almost the same. Here she is. Oops. I think I got to push this in further. Okay, did that work? I think I got it now. So my pen's here. There we go. She is stuffed. <laughs> and I've got, you know, again, a similar setup. I got to get a clip for that. Um, I have my year at a glance. I've got goals, I've got my fancy little fall dashboard, vision board um, vibe going on. I've got my agenda, which in which I have now added weekly number fives to. We're going to see how those work out. I have the shop. And then I start getting into my Christmas dashboards, but their content, you know, squad goals. <laughs> Um, home, oops, uh, memories, and then we start the holiday section. So I will now start filling these in. This is the November Thanksgiving. I could use things, filter it over. There is now my holiday pack, which will include, and I already have things I need to fill in. Gifts, ideas, wish lists, stocking stuffers, countdown, all the stuff you need. Definitely online order tracker, Black Friday deals. Um, I have my three tabs at the bottom, and I'm good to go. So I'm excited about using this. And I think I got everything in it that I wanted to. The nice thing is, let me get this back to the beginning. All right. It looks delicious and I have also my um, my cozy little wool cap which I'll be now pulling out it is cold chilly and rainy out so here is that pen pouch that matches this is a Safiano faux leather and I love the feel of it it gives just enough texture to it that you can pick it up you can feel it um, this is the pen pouch and what I plan to do is this is a pencil so I plan to keep in here the pencil and my current inked Tweezby Ego 
fountain pens. <laughs> They're currently inked with specific inks. And I do use them in my journaling. I do need to choose my traveler's notebook cover um, and decide what I plan to do with my classic happy planner going into the next month. Because um, I do kind of like to refresh the look of it. And, um, and then, of course, I have my coloring pencils. I keep saying crayons. They're pencils. Um, for my holiday pages, and I'm all set to go. So I love how this came out. I am all ready for the holidays to begin. Let's do it. So I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And um, please, if you love this video, give it a thumbs up. And consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification. Lots of new things coming. So many changes for 2025. Any supplies I might be able to list will be in the description box below. And I hope you have a wonderful day as you create a beautiful life, one plan at a time. Thank you for watching.